So a lot of my channel is dedicated to helping students get into and through PA school. And some of you are in the very, very blessed position of being accepted to multiple PA schools. So when that happens, what do you do? How do you make the best decision on which school will be the right school for you? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. What's up you guys, sit down and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't already done so, go take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add it on the PA and on Instagram, I get that to university where we help you not only get into and through PA school. Now that I have that out of the way, I just wanted to talk to you about this kind of rare occasion. Not everybody gets accepted to the PA schools that they've applied to. And very rarely do students get accepted to multiple PA schools. Um, and if you find yourself in that position, this video is for you. Obviously, if you're not in that position yet, I mean, this video is still for you as well. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what you want to look at like my top three things that you want to look at to help you make the best decision on which school is right for you now I had a student ask me this question and obviously this is my opinion these are things that I would look at these are the things that I did look at but I think it's important for everybody to keep in mind with that being said the first thing that I really think you should be looking at is the cost now PA school can be expensive it can be anywhere from like $50,000 to $120,000. I know, that is a huge, huge divide. You have to figure out, okay, how am I gonna pay for that? And so that's why I think it's very important to understand exactly like what your expenses are, what you can get in terms of like loans or what you can raise um, from working or donations, um, what's more tangible and obtainable to you and how that will affect your learning. So when you're looking at a school that you're interested in, definitely look at the cost. Um, the cost of the program doesn't always mean that the program is better doesn't always mean that the program has like all the bills and what bills no all the bells and whistles right uh, so you want to make sure that the cost is right and when thinking about the cost the next thing that I think you should look at is the actual program so look at what the program has to offer and like when I say the actual program like obviously you're like Adana like what that what are you talking about like I've already looked at the program right I've already looked to see like this is the program that I want to apply to but you want to sit down and look at the things that they have to offer do they have a cadaver lab is their cadaver lab like with actual cadavers or is it like a virtual cadaver lab um, those things matter sometimes like for me I thought that it was important for me to go in and be able to like cut into the body and make sure that I'm able to like see the vessels and how they run and see the nerves and see the variations because having more than one cadaver in your cadaver lab to dissect on and look at and, and look at the variations of how a vein may look in one body versus another or like if there's a transposition of the arteries and veins those things are important uh, because you know when you're dealing with real life not everything is so cut and dry you know not everything is normal so it's nice to be able to see how those variations may look and so that was important for me um, when you're looking at if there's a cadaver lab you might want to look at you know hey like what are the classes that I will be taking what is the the layout of those classes like when will I be taking one classes first versus another what is the student to teacher ratio those are the things that you want to get into because then that makes that $50,000 or that $120,000 like all the much sweeter or bitter, right? Because if there is a program that's $120,000 and they don't have an actual like cadaver lab, that would be like a not necessarily a red flag but that would be like a hard no for me that's for you maybe something different right it may mean something different for you or it may not be that big of a deal at all so that's why it's important to look at the program i think the next thing that you should absolutely be looking at when you're thinking about what school to pick uh, and this is my last thing is 
where you want to work. PA schools are rooted in communities, right? They are in communities that may have underserved communities and also they may be rooted in big cities. Now, that being said, they have ties to that community and therefore a lot of their students stay in those communities because they've gone to do various different rotations in the neighboring and surrounding hospital systems and clinics um, and offices and and they've made these relationships, built these bridges, and because of that, they've been afforded the opportunity to now go and apply to these jobs that are being offered in the communities. If you do not want to stay in the community where you're applying to PA school, then that might be something that you want to think about, right? You know, that might not be the PA school for you. If you are trying to go to a PA school in Illinois or you've been accepted to one in Illinois versus Nevada, and you know, you know that you're not a cold weather person and you know, you don't want the harsh winters, uh, your body doesn't do well in that, then that might not be the PA school for you. And it's not to say that it's going to be difficult for you to find jobs outside of the state that your PA program is in. However, you're just gonna make it a whole lot easier on yourself if you're already rooted in the community and you've already been seeing these various different physicians and NPs and PAs in the community and making those relationships um, in a community that you actually want to stay in. So those are my top three things that you, I think you should definitely look at. Look at the cost, look at the school itself in terms of what it has to offer, like those little intangible things. And then the third thing is looking at the community. Okay, look at the community and where this PA school is grounded and rooted because and that means that that's more than likely where you're going to stay um, or more than likely where you're going to build these bridges and therefore if you don't want to be in that community then don't go to that school. All right, thank you so much for that question. I hope I answered it well for you. Um, if you have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below if you haven't already done so. Subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. I will talk to you guys next time.